Hello, American Patriots. Douglas Dakota here, the founder and CEO of Veterans United for Justice, retired a U.S. Army veteran law enforcement officer, and the co-host of Real World Witness Radio Show. Well, as you've all heard by now, they have a person in custody and have been charged with, uh, or will be charged with, sending fake bombs to members of the Democrat Party to include uh, two former presidents. Uh, President Bill Clinton and President Obama. <sighs> there is way more to this than what we're being told. Trust me. And I sure wish that wasn't the case. Let's talk real briefly about what we know at the moment. We know his name. We know he's Hispanic or possibly Cuban. We don't know exactly where he's born and raised. That will come out real, real soon, I'm sure today or tomorrow. Uh, just so happens that at the same time they're, they determine who it is and they're making the arrest, uh, they check voter registration as well, and they know that he's a, a, a registered Republican. Uh, oh, and it just so happens that his van, his vehicle, is completely covered with Trump stickers and support President Trump and Trump this and Trump that. All right. <laughs> All right. Let me let me hold this together real quick. Um, and so, and they pull this all together in a matter of just really hours. Okay. Uh, with within a seven day period of time, we know who it is. Uh, where he sent the packages from. Uh, his name, his voter registration, pictures of his vehicle, but yet, stay with me, stay focused. A year ago, October 1st, just a few days ago, Stephen Padlock goes to Las Vegas from the Mandalay Bay, bust out a window, down below is a country music festival with 99.9% .9 Republicans. Uh, shoots 422 people, 58 dead. And here we are a year later and we have no clue about this man. We don't know what is registration was, what his political views were. He had absolutely, supposedly, no fingerprint on social media. Uh, just a freaking ghost, 64-year-old ghost that had money. He was a millionaire. And we just don't know. We just don't know. Just decided to shoot up a whole bunch of Republicans and kill a bunch of them, and we don't know anything about him but his name and his age. Oh, and he's got money. And not another thing has come out about that case in over a year and 25 days of investigating. In fact, the case is closed. It's done. Yet this guy that sent these fake pipe bombs, we know everything about. I don't know, it's kind of odd. You think? Folks, <laughs> look, I'm no expert in law enforcement, but I spent six years uh, in county law enforcement, three years in federal law enforcement, and I have a lot of friends that are in law enforcement today, the FBI, sheriff's offices, city police, state police, many other different agencies throughout our law enforcement community. And we're all in agreement that something is not right with what is happening at the moment. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're all wrong. Regardless, 
the Democrats and the liberals and CNN and MSNBC are jumping for joy and having a field day right now. There's more to this story, and I guarantee you, well, let me back up. I don't guarantee. I pray that he talks and that we get answers to questions. Who he was connected to and what really took place. Just something to think about, my friends. As always, please say a prayer for our men and women serving the United States military, our veterans, our law enforcement officers, our first responders, our president, our country. Remember to hit the little bell and subscribe so you know when my videos are out. Uh, below this video, you'll be able to see the different social media outlets where you can follow me. I hope that you do. And I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. I'm Douglas Ducote, and for now, I'm out.